Hi, everyone. Isn't it a fantastic day? The birds are singing, the sun is shining, and the flowers are more beautiful than ever. Why, thank you, Pappy. Ah, you're welcome, Lily. What are you all doing to enjoy the day? Well, I'm going to paint a picture, Pap, of Rainbow Bridge. Wow, that'll take a lot of colors. Yeah. And I'm going with him. I write my best stories there. I'm going fishing at Lake Pappy. Oh, I'm just hanging around the cabin, Grandsonnies. <laughs> Get it? Hanging around the cabin. Good one, Grandpappy. Yeah, right. What about you, Alicia, Chrissy and Vinny, Mary Beth and Brian? What will you be doing, Nicole and Raul, Carrie and Renee, Carlos and Lanisha? <coughs> well, that sounds like loads of fun. Today, I'm going on a nature hike with Buddy Chucky and Turtle and you're welcome to come along, too. Pap, what's a nature hike? Oh, nature hikes are great fun. You get to explore, see the trees, the rocks, even the bugs. Hey, Sonny, don't you know what time it is? Yeah. Gosh, it's four after two. I have to go meet the gang at Woody's Pass. How are you going to get there, Pappy? I know, how about the Pappy Scope? Good idea, Lily. Down Scope. <laughs> My, my, my. Is that you, Pappy? It sure is, Woody. I'm meeting Chucky, Turtle, and Buddy on your path so we can go on a nature hike. Hold up, Pap. You're coming here right now? Here I come. Okay, gang, have fun in the sun. Welcome, Pappy. Thanks, Woody. It's too bad you can't go on the nature hike with us. Well, it's kind of hard when you're a tree, Pappy. Whoops, I forgot. But then you are nature. People come to see you. You better believe it. <laughs> hey, Pappy, are you ready to go explore? Hi, guys. I sure am. I'll see you later, Woody. Bye, Woody. Bye, Woody. Catch you see. later, Pappy. This way, guys. There's a great field of flowers we can smell. Oh, and I'm going to look for stones. Oh, there's some pretty ones there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Aren't these beautiful flowers? Ah. Oh, hello there, little fellow. How long have you been here in Pappy Land? <laughs> oh, they know it's still pretty, Chucky. Hey. Yes, they do, especially to the brilliant scientists. Ah, honey. Oh, oh boy. Uh, buddy, no, oh, don't. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, no, you oh. know what that is? Hey. Ah. 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 Hey, fellas, I think the coast is clear. Yikes, here they come again. Oh, boy. Wow, we did it. We lost the bees. Yeah. I think we lost ourselves, too. Uh, uh, holy Spumondi, uh, where are we? Well, that's easy. We're, we're, huh? 
one into every square inch of Pappy Land. Well, just get out your compass. I thought you were bringing the compass. Oh, great. I guess we'll just have to use your map. What? Don't you mean your map? Oh, no, 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 hey, no. Hey, don't worry, fellas. I'm sure Pappy knows where we are. Uh, Pappy? Uh, Pappy? <laughs> I'm thinking. I could tell you how we can find our way back. You know how we're always talking about there's no limitation to your imagination? Oh, yeah. Why not prove it? I know what you're saying. We should come up with a way to get home ourselves. Exactly. Uh, how do we do that? Ever heard of brainstorming? Oh, yeah, brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> you have no clue what it is, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> That's OK, Lou. Brainstorming is when you think up lots of different ideas and you say whatever comes to your mind right out loud. And no matter how silly you think it sounds, and that way, if you have tons of ideas to choose from or even combine, you can solve any problem. Hey, that sounds like fun. Uh, I can take notes, Pappy. Good idea. OK, I'll start. I say we grab a hold of these hanging vines here and swing <laughs> through the woods like a monkey. Ooh. That way, we're bound to come upon a familiar trail. What? Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> now, Turtle Lou, no idea is ridiculous. Uh, that's what brainstorming is all about. Ah, I see. Then how about we do a little bird calling and have them fly us back? Uh, hey, maybe the bees could fly <laughs> us back. The bees? Oh, that idea might sting us, buddy. <laughs> We're wasting time. My idea is obviously the best one, so let's get to it. Uh-oh, watch out. Be careful, Chucky. <laughs> watch oh. out. No. Chucky. 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 Oh. Mommy. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. So, uh, any other ideas? Turtle, uh, buddy? OK, I see we may need a little help at this. Uh, maybe a picture can do the trick. Mamma mia, good idea. <laughs> Go for it, Pappy. OK, boys and girls, now is a good time to get your pencils, crayons, or markers ready, because we're going to draw an animal that just might help us brainstorm our way home. I'm going to start out by drawing the number five. Yes, there we go. And I'll just put the number five right here. Look at that. All righty. Oh, OK. All righty, I'm going to put a curve line right there. Hmm, that looks pretty good. And I think I'll connect it right there. Can anybody guess yet? <laughs> All right, let's continue. And I think I'll just put a little curve, kind of like a flat circle right in the middle of that eye right there. And I see a nose right here. Look at that. Hmm. Now I see kind of a chin right here and some fuzzy fur. Let's just do that right now. Look at that. It's starting to look like something. Can you guess what it is? All right. I'll continue. Here we go. Hmm. It kind of looks familiar. Let's just continue. And you can keep guessing, if you haven't guessed it already. <laughs> and I'll just put a couple of dots like that. And let's see here. How about an ear right here? Yes, I'll just put an ear. Right there. And I'll draw the inside of the ear. And some little curved lines like that. Very good. Now I'll bring this line back like that. And just bring it out like so. All righty. Now starting right here, I'm going to do a curve line. Let's draw a curve line like so right here. Stop right there. Bring it back up and connect it. Hmm. Did somebody say a lion? No. Nope. Good guess. All right, let's continue. I'm going to put a line right there and bring this down and curve it like that. And a small line there, just to show a little fur. Now let's put some teeth. One. Sharp tooth right there. 
another one, and another one, three sharp teeth on the top. And let's do the same on the bottom. Look at that. All from a number five, too. Fun drawing using numbers. There we go. Oh. Now I think I'm going to put a tongue right here. And we'll put a curved line like that. Oh, somebody guessed it. They said it's a tiger. That's right. And what does a tiger need? Uh-huh. Yes, a tiger needs stripes. Let's put some stripes on our tiger. We'll just uh, draw some curved lines here. That just shows some fur underneath his, his chin there. Let's put some tiger stripes on our tiger. One there. And color it in. And a small one right above his eye like that. And we'll color that one in like that. And we'll put another one right there by his eye. And we'll color that in black. And we'll put another one right here. There. You can draw your stripes the way you like. They don't have to be exactly like Pappy's stripes. See that? And I'm coloring that in black. And I'll put one more right here. There. That's right, a tiger has stripes. Very nice. Now let's put some stripes on his back. So I'll just put a stripe there. And I'll color that in like so. Have fun putting your stripes on your tiger. And I'll put another one right there. Stripes on his back. And another one right there. And let's just put a small one there. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm done. There's our tiger. That looks good. Hey, tiger, uh, what do you think my pal should do? How about helping us with a clue? No, listen to me. Brainstorming is fun, fun, fun. Let your imagination run, run, run wild. I understand. We can say anything. That's it. Well, then, what if we got 100 helium balloons and floated back? Or, or called a taxi. Or built a ladder so tall we could see everything from the tippy top. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or stopped at a gas station to ask directions. Or what if we built a magic carpet? What if we built a big blue boat? Ooh, a big blue boat with a magic carpet <laughs> sail. I feel a song coming on. Oh, oh, sing a song. Right here, Pat. Can you help us brainstorm? I sure can. On a nature hike you planned, you got lost in Pappy Land, in the wilderness alone. Now just don't be afraid to dream and work together as a team, and you'll find your way back home. Just don't be afraid to dream and work together as a team, and you'll find your way back home. I saw us with balloons up in the sky. I saw a blue boat that we would fly. I pictured that boat with a big sail. If we, we work, work together, together, we can fail. If you'll listen for the loon, you can find Balloon Lagoon and a boat tied there alone. Now just don't be afraid to dream and work together as a team and you'll find your way back home. If you'll listen for the loon, you can find Balloon Lagoon and a boat tied there alone. Now just don't be afraid to dream and work together as a team and you'll find your way back home. Just don't be afraid to dream and work together as a team and you'll find your way back home. Yes, you'll find your way back home and you'll find Oh, look, there's the cabin. Yeah, 
Wow, we did it. Together by brainstorming. <laughs> We sure did, and what a ride. We also have the tiger to thank. Yeah. You're right, Turtle Lou, and I think I'll go color him right now. You guys can stay and watch if you'd like. Oh, can we watch from the window? Sure. It it's still so nice out. Hey, everybody. Pammy's back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, Druid. What took you so long? We've been back for hours. We were starting to get worried. Don't ask, Elmer. Let's color instead. Awesome. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, if you have your crayons and markers ready, let's get started. All righty. I'll use my purple color. The top of the tiger's head. Just do the outside edge of his ear, like so. There. See that? Now I'll color the back of the tiger, the purple tiger. Oh, what's that, Renee? You, you colored your, your tiger red. It was a good choice. It's fun when you use your own colors. And that's what makes your drawings and your artwork so special. There we go. I'm going from dark to light. You see that? I'm pressing down on the crayon. That makes it dark. And then I lighten up like so. You see that? And then lighter and lighter. Very nice. Now I'm going to color in this area right here. And again, I'll start dark like so. And then I'll go lighter and lighter. You see that? Then a little darker here. I want to leave this area right here white, so again, I'll start dark, and then I'll go lighter. You see that? And then a little dark around the eyes, like that, and I'll go dark right there, and then I'm going to go lighter again. I'm going to go lighter. There we go. Look at that. Now I think I'm going to color in his teeth. Look at that, a nice bright yellow color. Remember to choose your own colors. There we go, and I think I'm going to just color in his tongue, kind of like a pinkish purple color. It's fun to stretch your imagination, boys and girls, like whoever heard of a purple tiger. Just suppose all the tigers in the jungle were purple. <laughs> what do you think would happen? <laughs> all righty, purple tigers in the jungle, that's funny. All righty, I'm going to choose this color for the inside of our tiger's ears. Hmm, how about a red nose? <laughs> That's using my imagination. Okay. And you could even use polka dots for your tiger if you'd like. <laughs> Notice I left a little white spot, and I like to do that because it makes his nose look a little shiny, and it gives it some shape. There we go. Now I'm going to take this color crayon, kind of a bluish, a light blue, and just 
shade in the bottom of the tigers. Five V chin here. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, right below this purple color. I'll continue with the light blue just to shade that in. I might even mix blue and purple. You see that? Just blends it together. Look at that. Yeah. And I'll just put a little blue here. Yeah. And I think I'll just put some color right around this area right there. Look at that. It's a fun looking tiger. Now I think I'm going to take my yellow crayon and color in below his cheeks here. Look at that. Fun to mix and match different colors, isn't it, boys and girls? There we go. Maybe a little yellow in his eyes. Use my orange and color the outside. Right where his eye is there, I'm just outlining it with orange, like so. There. Now I'm going to indicate some leaves, like he really is in the jungle. Maybe there's a vine back there and some leaves coming off the vine. <laughs> Feel free to use your imagination. And I'll fill that in like that. There we go. There. All done. <laughs> A purple tiger. Now that's pretty creative. What colors are your tigers, girls and boys? Oh, really? That's pretty creative, too. What do you think, guys? Hey. Uh, where'd everybody go? I guess I was so caught up in my coloring, I missed everybody leaving. They went home to bed. They said something about bees and a snowstorm, the desert, and swinging through the trees like a monkey. <laughs> you don't say. They also said you got lost. Uh, well, Grandpappy, they asked me how to get back, uh, but I thought it would be more fun to find more creative ways to figure out the problem. You had no idea where you were, did you, Grandsonny? Uh, no, but we had a great, great time. Wow, Pappy, you really had an exciting day. I sure did, Bink. Uh, I don't know how this day could get any better. How about another trip? Sure, but this time I'm bringing my map. Won't need it, Druid. I meant a trip to the Hall of Frames. What a spectacular idea. Let's go. <laughs> Some pictures. I can't wait to take a closer look. Wow, you've all put in such a big effort. These drawings are great.
That's art, and so creative. I love it when you make your pictures look so different, special. And you can have your pictures in here too, boys and girls. Just mail them to me, Happy Druitt, at the address at the end of the show. And don't forget to add your name and age. Maybe someday you'll see your picture here in the Hall of Fame. Hey, Sonny, don't you know what time it is? Yikes, I lost track of the time. <laughs> Oh my, it's quarter to orange, time for me to go. I hope you had fun getting lost in Pappyland with us and discovering how much fun it is to brainstorm creative ideas. And why don't you try it sometime? Remember, there's no limitation to your imagination. Bye, everyone. Bye, Pappy. Goodbye, Grandsonny. See you next time. Bye, Pappy. Bye, Pappy. So long, guy, da da dee. la ti da Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything?